So recently I approached collaboration in a kind of a Gen Z way, which is I put it out on Twitter. So I have some problem. I don't know anything about the science. I just say, hey, we're interested in this. We have no idea what we're doing. Does anybody out there? And so from that, we assembled a huge international team that uh, resequenced the mosquito genomes. And then most recently, we're interested in looking at um, expression of genes in every cell in the mosquito. And again, I said, hey, we don't know anything about most of the tissues in the mosquito. Does anybody out there know anything about these different tissues in the mosquito? And we brought together another huge multinational team. So social media is everything. Collaborating is important. It moves the science forward. Um, I've always been about open science and trying to bring as many people as possible into the problem. And uh, so everything that we've done that's based on collaboration has grown the project beyond what we could have even imagined it would be. We all come to the table with our own ideas of what's important to us. There's always limited time and limited resources. And so I think the key in leading the collaborations is to make some good discipline decisions. So we put a lot of money into some resource, a genome or another data set. And then I try to entice people to work with us, bring their expertise. It's like, we give you the data, you can play with it, but just do the part of the collaboration that we're interested in. And then on your own time, you can take all the stuff away and do what you're interested in because otherwise the collaboration never reaches any kind of closure. So that, that's been my strategy. Entice them, bring them on board, but make it really clear what the scope of the project is and then have them do the things they're interested in separately.